Hi friends, MD Vegan. Yeah, it's a new noodle recipe, vegetable noodle with a zucchini noodles. I will make that in a moment. I will spiralize it and combine it with the main ingredients. But first, I make the dressing because I make a cream with macadamia nuts and a sour cream. Very simple, and it has to be blended first and then a second blending. And so in between the first and the second blending it will sit for a while so it can soak. So if you first you soak the nuts here, it's a, it's a handful of nuts, macadamia nuts. They are very hard, they're high in fat, they have a little bit of savory flavor. Cashews are more sweet, I would say. They are a little bit more savory. I know you make cheese with nuts, then the cashew cheese is softer, like a cream cheese and the macadamia nuts they turn into a firm cheese more. It's very interesting. It has a more savory uh, flavor. So I put these now into the blender. I add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Um, that's nice also with macadamia. So you can also take a lemon but I wanted to have a little bit more expressive, a little bit more sour. So maybe two or three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And to balance the vinegar, I put three dates. Yeah. It is too sour otherwise, I would say. That makes it a little bit more intense, yeah? The balance and sour and sweet, the opposite. And pepper and salt, that is pretty regular. I have peppercorns. If your blender is not that powerful, you might ground, uh, grind the pepper before. But pepper and salt, that's main, the main, the main uh, spices here. Very, very, very simple, you know? Um, so water, of course, to make the cream creamy and I just take a little bit in the beginning and the second blending I can add a little bit more water to, to adjust the texture um, as I like. So blender dance number one. The blender sounds a little bit nervous. That tells me there might be a little bit more water in there. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's too little water. I put a little bit more water. You see here, otherwise, you, just, you, you see the blades, they are barely working. This is not a good sign. It works, but it's a little bit too, I like a little bit more um, liquid in the blender, more filling. Uh, it is easy to blend. Because you see what happens if, it, if there is not enough water, the 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 the. Um, the nuts here, the cream, they run up to the sides here in the blender and they stick there because they are too dry. And so the blender has no really, no, cannot really blend. That's why a little, a little bit more. Yeah, that's, that's good now. I'll taste it to just detect, to check the flavor. The creaminess is nice. Mmm, the flavor is wonderful too. <clears throat> yeah, so that sits for a while now. That was. That was just one blending. <laughs> Don't count it. <clears throat> the second comes later. So now, add the zucchini here. And you see, there were some places you had to cut. Yeah, here I. This is for the for the to fix it in the blade. And here I fix it in the other side of the wagon from the uh, from the here from the spiralizer. This is the wagon here. Here I fix the one side of the zucchini and here the other one and this is the blade. Uh, here, this is a small zucchini, you know, there are other blades here, you see, of different shapes. 
and to put the to use the spiralizer properly I have to fix it on the ground so I take the cutting board away and on the ground there's a stone here it can fix it the feet the feet of the spiralizer they have gummies and so it is firm I can use the ribbon push it and it is now it's easy to do here the bowl a salad bowl where I serve the spaghetti before there now I put everything into place here <coughs> as I showed you before the two sides of the zucchini and now I can spiralize away it should be very easy here it's a very nice tool you can uh, nowadays they have a lot of spiralizers there they're not very expensive you can get one get one maybe you look into a into an online test there are free a review and then you find a um, good quality most of them are good around and not very expensive so they have a li nice a nice choice there it's easy to get a good spiralizer this is only maybe 20 30 dollars this one several blades and um, very nice to use it's very easy as you can see so that's it take the noodles into the bowl put that away and now you need, what I have here are very long noodles you see <laughs> very long spaghetti noodles um, to make them a little bit smaller so bite size for the mouth for the eat I personally want them to be smaller put them into the cutting board again Idea yeah, there are some the inside of the zucchini. This is the big noodle. I want to put that into my dish. I will eat it uh, with the rest of the zucchini later. You can eat the zucchini as is. It's very delicious. Yeah, uh, I mean not for a whole meal, but for a snack, some bite of zucchini is very delicious and it's super healthy. It's a squash. Squash is among the very healthy vegetables we have. And the zucchinis they have this sponge-like texture, so you can squeeze it a little bit like a sponge, and they can. Um, um, take on the dressing uh, we can marinate very nicely the zucchini noodles in the dressing so that's what noodle, good noodle dal has to do they are better when they can soak you soak in the dressing it tastes better that's, that's why we, that's why uh, the texture of the zucchini is so nice for making vegetable noodles here there's a good portion it's one zucchini yeah, one person, one zucchini, I would say that is a pretty nice meal. Put it aside. No, oh, I would put now the dressing into there. The, the, other, the other ingredients are there. So my the main ingredient, the second main ingredient here are sweet peas. Have been, they have been frozen, I thawed it, just with hot water. And then filter. And you can have fresh sugar snap peas. Of course, they are more expensive. But the sweet peas are very delicious. I love them and they're very inexpensive when they are frozen and they're super nutritious protein in the peas of course fiber so what do you need yeah? it's a whole meal here with the peas one of my favorite vegetables are sweet peas now and I have a half of a red onion here chopped into small pieces yeah? that's perfect together with peas peas and and um, onions are very nice together the peas are a little bit sweet Onion is a little bit sweet, the onion is crunchy, the pea is soft and has a little bite. Yeah? The pea is also like a little bubble. They're perfect together. Yeah? And then the flavor, the hot flavor of the pea, of, this, of, the, of the onion and the, and the sweet flavor of the pea that is so perfect together. I always put it together when I can. So these are three main ingredients and they have a topping. It's an avocado. Um, now I don't always combine peas and avocados. Uh, very fat the avocados of course healthy fat and the peas don't have so much fat but um, somehow I think sometimes it is too much yeah peas and avocados but um, in general they're a very nice combination so I have only a small avocado here in the pieces I love avocados I wanted to have it today that was my idea avocado salad or something so I make a, a zucchini noodles with peas avocados and that uh, macadamia sour cream. So we'll now check the cream. I guess I have I don't have more water to add because the texture might be perfect. Yeah it's nice and creamy. I already tasted it. I have just a little second blending to make it really nice and creamy. And then I pour and I'm done.
check of course, flavor, looks very nice, texture, I like the color. I wanted to have the noodles with a white cream dressing. Ah, and the peas, that's so beautiful. I really wanted to have that today. Sometimes uh, I have that feeling, there's something special in my mind ah, that I would like to have now. And a new recipe is made. Mm. Very nice, very nice. The dressing is, as it should be, a little bit over seasoned, a little bit too sour, a little bit too hot with the salt and the pepper, a little bit too much. But that is exactly what I need for, for a dressing, because the dressing is diluted when it um, is tossed with the other ingredients. Uh, and then they have the perfect together, they might have turned out to have the perfect flavor. You see? You see how, how clean, how, how runny it is and how white. The wonderful texture, wonderful color, and the flavor I can only tell you. Very nice. And you can imagine. Yeah. Zucchinis. Noodles with peas and sour cashew cream. Cashew sour, uh, sorry, macadamia sour cream. Let's say, okay. Mmm, ah, it's exactly what I wanted today. Would you like that? <laughs> Honest. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. If so, like my video, subscribe, and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.